Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're looking at our next looking at our next part of our study concerning uh, the fight in gospel ministry. And we're looking at uh, Matthew chapter four. And then it says, Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So we just pray, Lord, we just ask for your help and blessings in this meditation in your name and for your glory. Amen. Just pulling my sock up there. And Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. When he had fasted forty days and forty nights after he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. And Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again the devil took him up on an exceeding high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these things I will give you, if you shall fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, saying, For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, the angels came and ministered to him. First thing I want to say is, you know, that the Lord fought Satan by using the Word of God. And, you know, a lot of ministries today are not built on the Word of God. And a lot of Christians are getting involved in apologetics because of the rise of the New Atheism, which is a good thing to get involved in apologetics. Um, but it has to be built on the Word of God. Everything has to be founded on the Word of God. We can only fight Satan and the demonic forces by the word of God. Satan came repeatedly attacking the Lord. Satan's going to repeatedly attack you and the only way you're going to stand is by the word of God. And when the Lord stood by the word and kept quoting the word, Satan left him. And you will defeat Satan if you quote the word back at him and say, well this is what the word says and he'll give up on you. Okay? You turn to Psalm 6, uh, Psalm 1 it says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that springs forth its fruit in it, brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he shall do it prosper. If you're going to have a ministry that's prospering, You've got to be meditating on the Word of God day and night. You've got to be in the Word of God regularly as a pastor. You can't feed people unless you're getting fed. So you need to have times and seasons of being fed yourself spiritually. Okay? As a preacher, you need to be fed spiritually. All of us who are ministering the Word of God need to minister the Word of God to ourselves. Okay? I go to a church uh, to hear a pastor it's not my home church or it's not my my regular place of worship or anything but I go there and I sit under a ministry of an older man who's wiser than me and I just sit there uh, midweek and I hear from that person and that's part of me getting fed because if I'm going to be preaching and teaching to you and to other people or, or wherever I've got to make sure that I'm being fed that I'm growing that I'm building my ministry on the word of God okay and that's what you need to do as a pastor and as a preacher and as a Sunday school teacher and a youth worker it's got to be built on the word of God the way we fight Satan the way we fight is through the word of God we've got to know this we've got to be rooted in this and grounded in this and I just want to say about the garden of Gethsemane now the garden of Gethsemane if we go to I think it's Matthew 27 No, sorry, Matthew chapter 26, it says, And again the second time he went away and prayed, saying, O oh my Father, if this cup cannot pass away from me, unless I drink, your will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. 
the Lord was in the midst of going to the cross he was in the midst of the battle and yet his own people were asleep and if you're going to be a pastor if you're going to be a preacher if you're going to be a, a servant of God as you root your as you know the enemy is Satan and as you root your ministry in the word of God you need to know that there's going to be seasons of intense conflict in your ministry and nobody around you is going to understand but if you're rooted your ministry in this the word of God will sustain you in that battle but it's only those ministers and pastors and preachers who are rooted and grounded in this book will be able to stand in those times apologetics will not help you you can know all about William Lane Craig and Cornelius Van Til and Herman Bavinck and all the theologians and theology that you want but it will not sustain you in the intense battle for gospel work only this will sustain you only this will strengthen you in that hour so get to grips with it study it night and day listen to pastors go when if you're a pastor why not go to another church midweek and sit under a pastor and listen to them preach and get fed yourself so when you go back to church you've been fed and you've been encouraged but as pastors and preachers you need to be feeding yourself the word of God building your own life on the word of God and then you're equipped to deal with the attacks of the devil and the challenges and intense battle of your ministry. Thank you for listening. Take care.